Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to the latest Blu-ray review from my Sarah Flick Direct. And for today's Blu-ray review, I'm actually really excited to talk about this one. For today's Blu-ray review, I'm going to talk to you all about the still book edition of Rob Zombie's The Firefly Trilogy, which consists of House House and Corpses, The Devil's Rejects, and Three From Hell. Now really quick before we continue on, I just want to talk about how awesome the steelbook design is. I mean, look at how cool and colorful this looks. We turn it to the side, you also see Baby Firefly once again, and on top of all that, not only do you have this awesome side cover, but wait for it, it gets better, guys. Each disc has a specific design. So for example, House House and Corpses has that look, The Devil's Rejects has this, Three From Hell has the more blue style look to it, and behind all that, you do have these really cool design posters behind all these. And I'm just gonna show one just for this sake, which is, I believe, House House and Corpses. I think it's actually Captain Spaulding. Yup, that's a shot from House House and Corpses. If you love blurry steelbooks, and if you love these three movies, this is a must alone, this one. But anyways, on to the actual review. For those of you who haven't seen any of these films, I'm just going to give you guys the quick gist of all three films because believe me, there is a lot to cover. House of a Thousand Corpses came out back in 2002, in which we primarily follow a group of four people trying to write a book of which and how it shows the sideshow attractions in which it also has Chris Hardwick, Rain Wilson, in which these four people go and stumble across the fireflies. As you can all can imagine, well, they unfortunately get tortured. Devil's Rejects came out back in 2005 and it follows the main three fireflies, Bill Mosley, Baby Firefly, and Captain Spaulding as they're on the run after the events of House of and Corpses. Three from Hell came out 14 years after The Devil's Rejects, 2019 to be specific, and as y'all can imagine, if you guys remember, at the end of The Devil's Rejects, the fireflies barely, I mean barely survived a police shootout and they're on the run and more violence ensues. How Thousand Corpses is, is kind of like watching a B horror film with these explosive colors, especially with blue and red. Devil's Rejects is personally my favorite of the three of them, but it's not for the faint of heart as that movie is gritty, relentless and intense throughout the entire town. I'm not making one say this to you guys. Devil's Rejects is so intense that there are sections that I'm not gonna lie to you guys are not for the faint of heart. Just what you guys know right there. Like Devil's Rejects actually got an X rating at least eight times before it got the R rating. That's how intense that movie is. Three from Hell is right with House of Thousand Corpses. It's a bit of a step down from Devil's Rejects, but it is still a gritty bloody right throughout the entire time and all three of them are films that I highly enjoy but if I were to give my ranking of them if I had to be honest with you guys Devil's Rejects is easily number one Hell of a Thousand Corpses is number two and Three From Hell is literally just below that film and I'm not saying Three From Hell is a bad film because it's it's a bloody good time, but still, like I mentioned to you guys earlier, Rob Zombie's films are very hit or miss, but all three films I very much enjoy. Getting into the audio and video quality, starting off with the video quality, all three films, Half Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, and Three from Hell, are all presented on aspect ratio for Blu-ray on 185.1, and all three films look great on Blu-ray. One particular thing that I notice on my rewatch on all these three films is how much of a change in terms of the filmmaking style that Raw Zombie brought. Now, here is the thing. How is as a corpse? This is a very colorful B style of haunted house film. In particular, the blues look great, the reds look really, really good, and some of the close-ups in particular look so good that if you told me it was a 4K or close to it, I would absolutely believe you. Captain Spaulding's clown makeup looks terrific, not to mention Baby Firefly, Sherry Moon Zombie has a great little entrance, not to mention when the four of them are going on that ride at, at Captain Spaulding's little, I guess you could say his little gas station stuff. That looked really, really cool. The Firefly House 
looks so darn cool and the gore the prosthetic makeup looks so darn good and i will say this right now if you want a colorful looking horror film how thousand corpses is the way to go devil's rejects has a shooting style that's just very gritty it feels very very raw and almost just feels real due to how the film is shot devil's rejects has a very documentary like filmmaking style and it makes sense because rob zombie actually filmed the guy that filmed a documentary devil's rejects definitely goes into more of a western territory with more oranges browns and just more lighted colors which is a great contrast with how gritty and how relentless devil's rejects is devil's rejects is easily the most grainy out of all three films and that's not a bad thing at all especially given to how the film is shot but not to mention guys skin tones look incredible the details on Kedra's faces look really really good and especially when it comes down to the final sequence of devil's rejects it is seriously one of the best endings in a horror film not like ever but at least in the 2000s three from hell i would definitely say is definitely more of a continuation of how devil's reject was shot and when three from hell has a very gritty style to it although not as grainy as a style as devil's rejects is definitely taking much more of an a yellow color palette with some definitely amazing darkly lit scenes and not to mention just like with devil's rejects and just like with house house and corpses deep from hell has great detail in the close-ups the nighttime sequences look absolutely terrific and while I'd definitely say that Three from Hell is definitely the most stylish in terms of the colors, even though House Dust and Corpses has the most color out of all three films, Three from Hell out of all the films definitely has the most stylish edge in terms of the filmmaking aspect of it. I can just only imagine how all three films would look on 4K, especially House Dust and Corpses, given how colorful that film is. Going on to the other quality, despite all three films sharing the exact same aspect ratio on Blue, Blu-ray, the audio tracks, however, are different. Well, at least one of them is. House Thousand Corpses and Three From Hell both share a 7.1 track. However, one of them is a 7.1 DTS HD, while Three From Hell has more of a Dolby 7.1 track. House Thousand Corpses has an English digital surround soundtrack, and here's what gets about all three films in terms of the audio quality. House Thousand Corpses sounds terrific with the 7.1 track there are some circling sequences especially one of my favorite parts of the entire film where captain spaulding is about to get robbed and hearing how the music crescendos when the two robbers are trying to come in and that one dude just comes out of nowhere and they just start having a gunfire it sounds great the tour sounds terrific dialogue is crystal clear and if you guys have seen the film you will all know that the intro song is rob zombie's own house house and corpses song which is a great segment a great intro to house house and corpses when it comes down to the audio track of the devil's rejects the audio track for devil's rejects just like with the video quality the audio quality here to say the least is very intense although in terms of the music devil's rejects definitely goes more of a southern rock vibe especially from the very opening scene where devil's rejects excels at least in my eyes is the ambiance given how the devil's rejects is more of a western horror film more than anything else dialogue is crystal clear the film's original score sounds great and especially guys when you get to that final scene and hearing all of the gunfire Whoa. Day from Hell's Dolby True HD 7.1 track is definitely the most bombastic as that one has the most gun violence out of all of them. And holy crap, the gunfire, no pun intended, sounded absolutely incredible. And on top of all of that, the musical score from 3 from Hell sounds terrific, the dialogue sounds terrific, the atmospheric sound great, the surround sound during the gun battle sounded absolutely incredible. All three films have terrific audio track. Finally moving on to the special features, the Firefly Trilogy for all three films have great features, although one of them has a feature that I was actually very surprised about, but anyways, all three films have great audio commentaries. Personally, my favorite audio commentary comes 
from Devil's Rejects or Rob Zombie definitely goes a lot more depth. Only two of them, by the way, have making ofs. Devil's Rejects is actually missing the making of, which really surprised me, but the making of Half Acid Corpses and Three From Hell are very, very interesting. Out of all the featurettes, easily my favorite featurette is seeing rehearsal footage from Hal Thousand Corpses, and yes, the rehearsal footage is like looking at a time capsule. It's easily a highlight out of all three film special features. All in all, what we have here are three solid as can be films, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys when I say this. Devil's Rejects is easily my favorite out of the three of them, but still, all three of them are solid as heck horror films. And on top of all of that, you have great video quality, great audio quality with some great special features so simply put guys if you love all three films and if you're a big rob zombie fan especially if you love him as a filmmaker mostly pick this one up and if you can find the steelbook for this guys pick up the steelbook because it is an awesome steelbook seriously i would i'm so happy to have this in my collection i hope you enjoyed my blue review of the firefly trilogy on steelbook if so please hit that like button also share and don't forget to subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest blue review goes live if you guys want to see my previous two blue reviews please click it right there or right there and of course until our next blue review goes live we'll see you all next time have a wonderful day everyone hit like smash subscribe and get notified for whenever reviews, interviews, and news go live.